All right, guys and girls, it's time to say a big up yours to 2020 and a big hello to 2021. We'll be doing that in this episode. Now, times are ticking, so let's get stuck in. Hey everyone, Matt Johnson here, and I'm your host of my YouTube channel, Beer and Watchers, where every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday through 2020, I've been bringing you the very best in watch news, watch reviews, and craft beer brews. What a year it's been, my first year on YouTube since starting this channel in January of this year. It's been an incredible ride so far. Also, we can say goodbye to that 2020 that has been such a pain to us that brought us this and also brought us this and a big hello to 2021 i wish you all the best i hope you had a great new year's eve and a set for the new year now i've got a lot of stuff to bring to you in this episode including beer including watch related stuff and all kinds of news but before we do that here's the word of the day resolutions have you made any? Now, a lot of people make New Year's resolutions. Some people don't believe in them. I'm curious if you've made any New Year's resolutions this year. And if you have, put them in the comments section below this video. I'd love to hear what you intend to do to improve things in 2021. As for me, well, I'm going to get exercising again because it's been a long time since I've exercised. My whole business of traveling the world, being a magician and a skate artist, all ended pretty much back in March. I've been at home and I've been a bit of a naughty boy. I haven't been exercising, I've been drinking a little bit too much beer, so it's time to get back to it. And I'm gonna start that right now in 2021. So let me know what your resolutions are and if you think you're going to stick to them. Now, what about that intro to my YouTube channel? Now, for those of you that have been around with me for the ride for a long time, you'll recognize that as one of my original YouTube intro videos, and then I changed it to the one we have now. Now, I'm thinking of changing it back because I kind of like that one. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below whether you think I should keep the intro that I have now, and you can look at my last video to see that, or whether you think I should return to the old intro that you just saw at the start of this video. Love to know what you think. And that brings us to my next point, which I want to make, which is a big, big heartfelt thank you to each and every single one of you, my subscribers, my followers. You have made this journey through 2020 an absolute treat. You continue to follow follow me, watch my videos, build up my watch time, send me great comments and interact with me on my channel. And it means the world to me, guys. I sincerely want you to know that. I would not have a YouTube channel without each and every single one of you. So thank you from my family to yours. And I wish you a bright, healthy and successful new year. Now, if you have been following my channel, but you're not subscribed yet, I'd love you to subscribe. I do brand new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And all you have to do is click on the subscribe button down there to the right of the screen or below this video if you're on your mobile device. It's completely free to subscribe and you can unsubscribe at any point. So why wouldn't you subscribe? Speaking of accomplishments, because of all of you, I have hit some great numbers this year. I just reached 1,400 subscribers on my channel, which is incredible. I've had well over 78,000 views on my channel. And also, I'm up to over 3 1,440 watch hours. And that's incredible because I'm on my journey to get to 4,000 watch hours and I'm doing it with your help. I couldn't do it without you guys. So again, thank you so much. I have lots of new stuff coming up in 2021. I'm excited about some new partnerships and collaborations with some watch companies that are going to be sending me watches in for review. We're going to be doing a lot more giveaways like we did through 2020. I think I gave away like eight, nine watches. As for 2020, what a train wreck. However, I do have to thank 2020 kind of because this YouTube channel would not have started without this year basically making me housebound. As I mentioned, I've been out of work since March, so I thought, what can I do to keep myself creative, interested, and doing stuff, and that's why I started this channel. So again, without 2020, I wouldn't be here. So I guess I've got to count my blessings on that. Now, before we get into the watch stuff, I wanna say a cheers to you for the new year. So we're going to do that with this beer here. It is the Baron Bohemian Dark Ale. You know, it's funny, because when I bought this at the store, I actually thought Baron said bacon. And 
and I did until I just took it out my beer fridge. So I thought, hmm, I'm going to try that bacon beer. But it's not bacon beer. It's Baron Bohemian Dark Ale. It's a Czech beer, and it's from these guys. I can't pronounce the name of their brewing company, but there you can see their lineup of incredible beers. And this one is a 5.2% alcohol, comes in this 500 milliliter bottle, and you can check them out at this website right here. Check them out. Do you see what I did there? <laughs> anyway, we're going to crack this now, give it a taste. We're going to crack it and stack it. Remember that old saying from way back in my channel? I don't actually bother putting them in a glass anymore because, well, it just makes for extra washing up. So cheers to you guys. Here's to saying goodbye to 2020 and saying hello to 2021. Let's give it a taste. Do I have any on my mustache? Different. It's a dark ale. I didn't think I was going to like it, actually. What does it say on the lid here? Good beer is irreplaceable. I'd have to agree. It's light on the dark ale. Kind of a woodsy, nutty taste about it. If you're a lager drinker and you want to try something a little bit different, then this would be a good choice. Again, I'll put a link in the description below this video to their website, and you can go check them out and check out their eclectic line of beers. Cheers. Now, I kind of want to show you some of the things I got for Christmas, kind of watch-related. First thing that I got for Christmas, which is not watch-related, but I have here in my mind cave, is my LED lights. Now, this one behind me here right now is green. I've got big studio lights on here, so it's not showing up that brightly, but here it is actually very bright. And this little remote here changes the colors. As you can see, I've got lots and lots of colors on there, so we're going to change that to blue. There you go. It's like magic. So I got some more of those. I actually got a red one as well. Check this out. Behind the bar with all my Star Wars stuff and my beer fridge. Love it. These LED strips are great. They're like 16 feet long. They come with a remote control. You can program all kinds of different colors. You plug them into your mains. Really, really cool, guys. So I'm going to put a link in the description below this video to um, those LED lights on Amazon if you want to pick them up. They actually only cost me 25 bucks Canadian, which is under 20 US and maybe about 12 or 13 pounds. Cheap as chips and um, really, really cool. They're kind of sticky back. You can put them where you want. That link in the description below. Not watch stuff. Oh, and beer stuff. This was a gift I got. Beer is good for you. Comical collection of quotes for beer lovers. So I'm just going to flick through here, open up at random. Beauty lies in the hands of the beer holder. No truer words have been spoken. Without question, the greatest invention in the history of mankind is beer. Yes, I totally agree. Well, except for watchers. By the way, today I'm wearing my Egar Mayan version 2 on the Beads of Rice strap from Strapsco. I've worn this before on my videos and this is now with the Strapsco strap, one of my favorite watches in my collection for sure. It's a beast. The Strapsco actually are having a deal right now, kind of a sale. If you want to go check them out, I'll put a link in the description below this video. They've got some great deals and offers on right now for the new year, so go check those guys out. This cool little book, I'll put a link in the description below this video where you can get this on Amazon. That was one of my Christmas gifts. Another one of my Christmas gifts, this one totally watch related, is this book here by Gene Stone. It's called The Watch. I want to try and make sure the lights in the studio aren't shining on this. Very, very cool book. Over 50 watch brands outlined in here in detail with beautiful, beautiful pictures, hundreds and hundreds of pictures. And if you're like me, I'm not much of a reader. I can read, I just don't. And this has got some incredible watches inside from all kinds of brands. Omega, it's got the history of all that. And there's a little quote at the start of the book here I just want to read out to you that I thought was really cool. A wristwatch is a universe of possibilities. It is a metaphor for the cosmos or a nice hunk of gold. It is anything and everything you want it to be. Wear it, stare at it, love it, repair it, open it, time it. Your watch represents a small part of you wherever you go. Written by Gene Stone in the book, the Watch. It's a beautiful, big, thick book. I'm looking forward to diving into this in 2021, and I'll put a link in the description below this video where you can pick these up on Amazon. This is an absolutely glorious book. This is going to be so much fun. I'm looking forward to actually going through and picking out Grail watches that I really want to own and adding them to my grail list. Check that out. Link in the description below this video to this on Amazon. The other thing that I got 
was this. And you saw this in my last video uh, with the drum roller watch, I believe. It's my watch press. And the reason that they're so handy is because a lot of watches actually have what's called a pop-off press-on case back. And I didn't realize until I started reviewing watches that the watches with pop-off case backs, usually on quartz watches, are very, very difficult to put those case backs back on because they're pressure fitted. You can't just push them on with your thumb. You don't want to grip it between a vise because you might break the glass on the front of the watch. So it's almost impossible to put back on. And I never realized because most of my quartz watches, I used to just take to a dealer and have them change the battery for me. But now that I'm reviewing these watches and I'm taking the cases off the backs, like I did with the drum roller watch in my last episode, um, I want to make sure I can get them back on there without damaging the watch. This is where a watch press comes in. And that's what this is. It's got these two little plastic wheels on here and you get a whole bag of them, and these are for different size watches and different size case backs. You screw on the little uh, plastic rings here onto there, and then you put the watch between them and basically just push down on the lever here, and that clamps the uh, case back back onto the watch. So take a look at your collection of watches. If you've got a lot of watches with pop on case backs that are quartz battery operated, then this would be a cool investment. And they're pretty cheap. I think it was like 20 bucks Canadian, something like that. They're not expensive. It's made out of uh, steel, good quality, good spring on there. So very, very affordable. I'll put a link in the description below this video where you can actually get this exact one on Amazon. Then you can own the same one that I have here at Beer and Watches. Now, a couple more things that I want to get out here. First of all, I want to ask all of you guys, my subscribers and followers, what would you like to see from me in 2021? What would you like to see on this channel? Is it a particular watch? Is it it more reviews? Is it less reviews? Is it more of my Amazon shopping spree buys that I do? Put those comments in the comments section below this video. I really want to know what you want to see because after all my channel's for you, it's not for me and it grows because of all of you. So I want to deliver you the content that you want. You all seem to enjoy my channel so far, so I'll keep delivering the same great content. But again, if there's anything specific you want to see, do let me know. Finally, I've set up a brand new playlist here on my channel. So if you go just above my video here, you'll see the option of playlists. If you click on that, there's all different categorized playlists. I've got a playlist for automatic watches, one for quartz watches, one for watch giveaways. But the new playlist I've just set up is a look at 2020. It's the best of beer and watches 2020. There are 20 four videos in there and in order for a video to make it into that playlist it has to have had at least a thousand views some of the videos in that playlist have got like 5,000 4,000 views which is mind-blowing to me go check them out there may be a lot of reviews there you haven't seen before especially if you're new to my channel enjoy watching some of those look backs at the best of 20 20. Well, that's it from me, guys. Again, Happy New Year. Cheers to each and every single one of you. It's been a weird 2020 because in many ways it's been absolutely devastating to many of us, but also in some ways it's been incredible because it allowed me to launch this channel and has allowed you to do lots of things that maybe you wouldn't have done. We have to say cheers to that. I always try and look for the positive in the negatives, if you know what I mean. Thanks so much for all your support through 2020. It really does mean the world to me. Don't forget, if you have any questions at any time, I'm only a comment away. Um, if you look above me there and go to about, you'll also find my email email there if you want to send me an email. Thanks so much. I would love it if you leave me a thumbs up, leave a comment in the comment section below, click the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell notification. Happy New Year, everyone. Don't forget, if you haven't seen it yet, click on that video right there. That's a good one. And click on the Beer and Watchers logo to subscribe. Take care. I'm Matt Johnson, and bye for now. <laughs>